This guy took a lot from me that night. You have not seen the best of me. I don't want to pat down my record with guys that I should be beating. My job and my goal is to be the best 147 pounder in the world. We know what he's made of. I mean, this guy's a tough guy. He's made of steel. Oh, that body has taken a beating. And Rocha is all over him. That is it. What a performance from Alexis Rocha. Leading up to the fight, you know, I know he won't admit it. I heard his interview, but there was a lot of stuff, a lot of pressure that was added with the mural and being on TV and taking him everywhere. He doesn't want to admit it because Alexis is always the type that won't use excuses. But I think that had a lot of effect and it was obviously, you know, probably not the right time. Maybe he wasn't ready, I don't know. But um, he definitely wasn't him that night, for sure. Uh, couldn't ask for a better camp. My team, everyone, everyone was on point. Just day of the fight, you know? Um, when you're thrown in certain situations, like we knew Giovanni was gonna come, come at me, being aggressive, I kind of went away from my game plan. And that wasn't when you practice, and he got the better of me that night. I mean, obviously this defeat, it was different because he had never been hurt, never been knocked down. Um, I think it brought the team closer together, believe it or not. I mean, watching him hit the walls after the fight, and as emotional as he was, I remember telling the guys, I pulled everybody off to the side, and I said, this is when he's gonna need us the most. Because a lot of guys, especially in boxing, nobody plans to lose. I've said this before, you know, there is no plan B, and uh, I knew we had our work cut out for us, but I think it, uh, I don't know, it just put us, made us feel closer together as a unit, and, you know, we started this shit together, and we're gonna end it. Faced a lot of adversity that fight, and, you know, the, the, that chapters have been closed. It's time to move forward and focus on, on Santiago Dominguez. What's his mindset as he bounces back from a very difficult loss? Redemption. But he has come back with the right mindset, ready to stay active, and reclaim that spot once again. Well, you guys expect of Alexis Rocha is a new guy hitting the radar again. You know, I want to show, I want to, make, I want to make an impressive statement. An impressive win over Santiago Dominguez puts me up there again with the talks of, for fighting for world championships. And that's what I want. I want him to be smarter. Right? Being smarter is following a game plan all the way to the end, not, not falling off track. To win a fight, it's not about being strong. It's not about being fast. It's about using your head. It's about using your, your smart, your IQ. And that's what I'm gonna play this fight. I do believe that the best is yet to come. Does he need to send a statement? I think he's gotta to prove to himself. I mean, every fight is different. The guy on paper looks like, obviously he's got some pop. Don't look for the knockout. He, I mean, if the guy wants to box, he'll box. If he wants to bang, he'll bang. Let the fight come to him. It, it'll be there. And, and I think we can stop. We have a good chance to stop him. You know, first things first, handle July 19th, handle business there, and then go on for the for the Barrios, for the Stanley Yonis, for the Brian Norman. Those are the guys I want, the Boots Ennis. Those are the, those are the champions or the interim champions that are gonna be elevated to the, the full-blown world champions. So those are the guys that want to be fighting next. We're coming back, we're gonna be back better than ever, but I'm very grateful for Golden Boy, for the whole staff just supporting me throughout the years. And this is home, this is my family. This is where I'm gonna end my career with Golden Boy.